guys, my name is Kirsty and welcome to Upside Down Books. Today we are going to be doing a recap, review and look back at what I read in May. So May was my birthday month, which was exciting. I did lots of wonderful things. Jaden took me to the zoo on my birthday, which I loved. We had a wonderful picnic and I read heaps of amazing books throughout the month. I also got some really great new releases for my birthday, but I will talk about that in my book haul in the next video. I ended up reading seven books during May, which was such a nice surprise. I have not cracked the five book mark for several months now so to just suddenly read seven and some of these books were absolutely massive as well so page count wise I read through the roof compared to my usual standards. I would love to keep this pace up and just find more time for reading, particularly when I did the readathon, which I talked about in my previous video and I was getting up early to read. I found this a really great way to incorporate more reading time into my day, but sometimes getting up at seven just, <laughs> it's not even that early, but when you're used to getting up an hour later, it's like, so we're just going to dive right in, have a look at what I read and what I read with them, what they're about and whether I'm going to recommend them to you. So the first book that I kicked the month off with was Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armantrout. It has been a little while since I've read an Armantrout book and this just was as enjoyable as the other ones I've read. This was actually given to me as a present from my friend Sarah, so thank you very much Sarah for bringing this joy into my life, but I would definitely recommend reading the Lux series if you haven't yet. There's so much that you could pick apart and say is wrong with this book, so I think you really just have to enjoy it on the surface level, but I ended up reading this three and a half out of five stars, and it was just fun. It was almost just because it was so ridiculous and the sort of I don't want to say insta romance because that's going to put some of you off but it's just you're just laughing at the characters for being such idiots but it was really good it's a paranormal fantasy book about these aliens that are living in this town that the city girl has recently moved to this country town and how they sort of interact and all of the intergalactic wars that she gets caught up in with they're not intergalactic wars but I just wanted to say that but yes that was a really good book to start the month off with I read most of this like I was reading a hundred pages at a time, I just couldn't put this one down. The next book that I finished was actually an audiobook and that was The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which is like an 830-ish page book, which is huge and it was good. I have done a whole review on both my blog and here on my booktube channel about it so if you want to hear some more in-depth thoughts about whether I think that this is worth the read considering how big it is then make sure you go check out that video I'll leave a link up above um, for you to click on if you want to go and watch that now but I did rate it three out of five stars it's an epic fantasy that's very feminine driven which is wonderful had a fantastic story to it and it was really enjoyable but I got a little bit confused and lost and wasn't totally enamored with the ending the next book that I read I don't have a finished copy of it because I was sent this for review and that was The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. This book was phenomenal. I loved this book. Um, I think I either rated it four or four and a half out of five stars and was just really surprised. This is a new release for this year. It's also really another really big book. It's over 540 pages long um, in this edition in any case. I know it comes in these nice big hardback editions which I would love to buy of it. Um, this was quite a hard read. It requires a little bit of uh, thinking because the storylines can get a little bit muddled and I think a lot of people are getting a bit lost with how intertwining they are and where you're at time-wise, plot-wise, character-wise. And there are footnotes from another perspective that sort of narrates throughout the whole thing. But I really enjoyed it. As I came to the end of this book, I went from being like, oh, this book is an effort to read, to just being blown away and having absolutely loved it. So I will absolutely be picking up the next book. I think this is going to be a five part series when that comes out. So I was really excited about that. This is probably one of my favorite reads in May and I would highly recommend it to other people out there who like their heavy epic fantasies. At that point it brought me to my readathon TBR. So if you've already watched that wrap up video then this is going to be relatively similar because we're going to be looking at some similar books but I'm going to dive right in anyway for anyone who has watch that video. So I read Navigating the Stars by Maria V. Snyder which is her book from I think a year or two ago now and it was incredible. This was super fun. It was a space book. It was all about archaeologists in space uncovering these terracotta sculptures and there's some alien action happening as well as lo along with like looters slash space pirates I'm gonna call them. I feel like space pirates might get you a little bit too excited but it is a pretty exciting book. I rated this one four out of five stars. I'm anticipating this series to only get better. I'm really excited 
that it's not just a standalone, although I think it could quite happily have been. So I'm crossing my fingers that the next book is just even more mind-blowing than the first. I then picked up What If It's Us by Becky Alpatali and Adam Silvera, which I rated a happy four out of five stars and thought it was super enjoyable. This is LGBT plus fiction about two boys in New York who come together and when they leave each other they find out, they realise that they actually would like to see each other again and it's the story about how they try and find each other in New York going off next to no information. It is a beautiful romance, it's got lots of little complexities in it and it's just really funny and laugh worthy and just enjoyable. I would recommend this to anybody, absolutely anybody. The next book I then picked up was Autobiography by Christina Lauren which was also really good and I think I would also recommend to just about anyone. I rated this one four out of five stars as well and it looked at the complexities of being gay in a Mormon society in Utah and how difficult that was, the sort of self-discoveries you're going along with and all the sort of mental confusions that you have to deal with. It is a wonderful little romance in it as well. It is not quite as good as What If It's Us but it's just something that's honestly quite different. It's really hard to compare the two together so I really enjoyed that one as well. I then picked up with my final book of the month, Vicious by V.E. Schwab and this surprised me because I thought I was going to enjoy it. I started reading it and was not impressed but by the time I really got into the story I was absolutely devouring the pages. This is such an interesting paranormal fantasy, sort of paranormal urban fantasy and it follows characters with supernatural powers who have had a near-death experience where they actually flatlined for a bit and then came back to life and they came back with powers that were relevant to the way that they died and it's such an interesting book, some interesting morals and ethics explored in it and a super fast-paced read that I again think most people would enjoy this. I fail to see a scenario where somebody wouldn't enjoy this book. So hopefully that is a nice short and sweet wrap up for you for what I read in May. I was really pleased with all the books that I got around to and I really enjoyed reading all of these. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or if you have any recommendations for me based off these books. But other than that, I will speak to you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>